But there she is, hiding in the forest. But the Empire will always know. The Empire will protect and destroy her. And we have a couple of problems. I just scouted the map and not only do we have Shalom Pathgod here. No, no, no. We also have Balakor over here. And he's a um, bit of a monstrous problem. Especially since what? Uh, Middenheim is vulnerable. Great Temple of Wolf. Oh, hello there. Okay, that's not important. We need a wall ASAP. And we also require um Ooh. What do we need? We 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 could go for Reich's Fort. Put a couple of Reich's Guard as defense, but I'd rather get paved roads. But we don't need to get that here. Hmm. Difficult. Let's go with um Night Watch for now. Okay, Middenstark. Okay, that's a problem with Bellacor. Nothing special here, so we can definitely go for... You know what? Why not? We're going for armories. Let's improve our global recruitment capacity. Weissmund, anything interesting here? No, no, no. Then let's go for money. And Karoborg. Haha, I knew it. Special building, Knight's Panther Chapter House. Knight's Panther Chapter Houses are located deep within Middleland, although detachments can be found in armies across the Empire. I mean, that's great. Empire Knights. Um. Uh oh. Wolfric the Wanderer. Him again. Hmm. Let us forge our faith. Let's see. Eric Victor. Oh, he can do it on his own. Well, that's fine with me. Very well. Anything here? Why not? Let's get alert. Artillery. Do we need anything? Do we need Mighty Forge? We don't have Steam Tank. Oh, we have Temple of Luminarch. Okay, never mind. Veteran, O Seeker, perfect. So he's very useful, and we need to get yes. to Bellacor. Can we get him in a one on one? Might be very dangerous going after him with forced march. Let's leave 4% so we can retreat if he should attire, decide to attack us. Can you deal with him? Oh, you can't. You're very useful. Peter von Kram. Uh, uh oh. Uh, Malus Darkblade. Fake Daniel. Um. Okay. Do we s do we stand a chance if we check him? I'm going to save. Let's see if we have a chance of automatically defeating him. Otherwise, we're going to retreat. Uh, close victory. Okay. Uh, you call that close? Would call that close. Be to okay, and now we co Oh, we can even get to forts. Perfect. Yeah, I don't care about the lair of the troll king. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let him take it if he wants. Perfect. So, mighty speed of the horse, why not? Blade master, more leadership, charge. Perfect. Diplomatic relation with Kislev. <laughs> Even more diplomatic relation with Kislev. <laughs> Kislev doesn't exist anymore. Uh, please get rid of Trump. 57% and you fail. You continue to fail. I need to... Let's go... Rename... There you have it! Yes, General. Thais, would you please... Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Omega, cool. Uh, more health is always good. Even though they don't need it since they don't fight. And you. You. 
Oh, you can wound them. Sure, why not? And he failed. Scout leader. Um, who are those? Oh, Swords of Wolfric, a new unit. Right, let's get them. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I want that? Huntsman, why not? Let's get Huntsman and another Halbert Deers. Perfect. Um, yes, upgrade please. Ten rounds. Jeez. Silver Pinnacle. Oh my goodness. Walls, perfect. More money. It's also great. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Yeah. Um, money and gem cutters workshop. Members of the gem cutters guild are respected both for their craft and for the riches they create. Building upgrade. Yeah, I, I need level five here, so that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, he's fine. I mean, the attrition is very minimal. Hang on. Well done, we destroyed fake Daniel, but then again he's only fake Daniel, he's not, yes, not the Lord. good Daniel. Cinnabar mine. Blood rock mines are large excavation sites for when substantial cinnabar deposits are discovered. Hmm. Let's hope that we can deal with Bellacore. Not too much fuss. Friends of the Empire, come. Mighty reptilians, you are our greatest friends and of course we will obliterate this coven. I want to befriend Exotl. We, after all, we <laughs> definitely would like to have their Saurians. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want a dread Saurian. No, I don't care about the dragon. The dragon can say goodbye. Um, we're going for Dread Saurian. <laughs> then <laughs> Carl Franz's army will be magnificent. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want, Lord Master Mundi, it will be yours. Except the Empire. And about 50,000 other exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Things going according to plan, even though I have no idea how the Tomb King's here. Oh, is that Tomb King? Camry, uh oh. Yeah, we're going to take a look at um, the size of their armies, and then we're going to decide if that's a problem that we need to deal with with Karl Franz, or if we can just ignore it for now. Oh, oh, oh dear. Now that's not good. Settlement looted, whatever. Okay. Um. Let's see, Camry. Where are they? Oh, there's nothing here. Where are their main armies? Do I need to be afraid? Why, why can't I see the entire territory anywhere? Hmm. That's just odd. Where are their armies? I see no army. Hmm. Don't turn my ass. Ah, uh, Lord not moved. Bodus Todbringer. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to deal with Bellacor. You stay in forced march. Can you reach him? No, he can't. Okay, that's good. We're still going to tread lightly. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Mmm, Can you... Oh, he's out of range. <laughs> that's very convenient. Uh, Lipitz. Yeah, you're going to stay there. Try to look intelligent and useful. Crossbowman. Okay. That's buggy. Peter von Krampf. Please get rid of Clocksatis. 
Well done, my friend. Um, yeah, survivalist sounds fine. Mateo's Omega, cool. Okay. Can you please try to be useful? Yeah, he tried. That's fine. He can you? Oh, wounding. Wounding is oh yeah. He's definitely giga minus. Uh, be honest, time warp. I don't care. Oh, huge randomly moving area of effect. Strong with multiple good against armor. Banishment. Creatures of the dark, beware! For the mage casts a ball of pure light to banish enemies of white wizardry. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, massive war call. Okay. Do I want that? Do I care? Money, yes. Rest, not so much. For Stragov, yes. Should we check him? Nah. Mm, no. Oh, finally, it's looking better. Let's get tall. Wait, no, 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 no. None of that matters. What matters is the Dread Saurians. Axoatl. Allied recruitment is expensive. You must be in a military alliance to be further upgraded. Ah. Master Mundi. My greatest friend. How much do I need to pay you? Wait, what? Baseline. We can't buy Master Mundi. He cannot be bought. <laughs> he dislikes you if you want to give him money. <laughs> the plan of the Great Ones does not require finances. Okay, Lord Master Mundi. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Oh, that was demanding. Oh, no, no. Offering. I'm sorry. My mistake. Okay, so he will require... Oh, um, sorry, 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 sorry. My mistake. He can be bought. <laughs> but he requires a massive sum. I mean, 10.5 to 8.8. 8. 2.7. Um, that's a bit of a problem. No, 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 1.7. I, I, I'm not capable anymore of counting 1.7 is a difference uh 1.7 and we can achieve that making him more friendly by 1.7 points of friendliness with a, a small sum of just <laughs> 9200 seriously so we would have to oh my goodness give him tens of thousands of what is that credits dollars Emperor coins, coins, let's call it coins. We'd have to give him tens of thousands of coins. Yeah, the amount of income. Yeah, what what kind of income is that? Treasury. Your summary. Background income, building, trade, income. Auto construct wait, auto what? Wait, what? We have auto construction. What did I just find out? Set the budget used for constructing buildings in provinces that have been marked for auto construction. What? I mean, since I always want specific buildings, that's kind of useless, but that's a nice quality of life thing. Nice. Our greatest trading partners among them. Wait, what? How can I value? Ah. Oh, the elves. <laughs> and the Saurians. Alrighty. Ah, uh, what can we do? Du, 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 du. Franz, you, my good friend. Mm. Mm. Do we want to take that? I mean, why not? Take Nuggle Fari Blaine. Oh, it's empty. Bring me to my okay. Men. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Oh, Kislev. Kislev is very important. Uh, we need money. And of course, we're going to build bigger walls. And the tannery. It's not just meat that has its uses. No, no. Skins and furs do too at the tannery. And there's also a lot more. If you want to properly treat nature and planet Earth, you might 
want to consider using all the resources you get from killing an animal. I, I know there are a lot of about um, there are a lot of people even here listening or watching my videos that do not like animals getting slaughtered to feed humans. Beside from just the need for food for meat, there are a lot of other use cases that animals can get or that the body of animals have. And even to those of you who do not like the, um, the breeding of animals for the purpose of getting slaughtered for food, always keep in mind that animals will always die. Even the ones not bred for food. And the question then is, if an animal dies of natural causes, should you not use the resources of their bodies? Should it really go to waste? And that's a question that is not easily answered. Okay, Tannery. And I believe that if an animal dies, for whatever reasons, the body should not be wasted. So, breeding f mass breeding for mass food production in the way of, I don't know, 100,000 chickens in a small barn like in the US, that is not okay. On the other side, breeding on a smaller scale for food production, humans need food. And meat, after all, is um, a source for a lot of proteins and a lot of other stuff that a human body needs, where you need to eat few to achieve great results. The problem with the meatless, well, nutrition is that you require a heck load of more food to achieve the same results. And especially in countries that do not have wealth, like in Europe or the US or Australia or whatever, New Zealand, that's a problem. So people tend to eat a lot of meat because it's relatively cheap and it feeds you great. You'd have to eat kilos of salad and other stuff and take supplements to make sure that your body is unhealthy. Okay, enough food, enough vegetarian, whatever. Just, I do not like if an animal dies and the body goes to waste. It should be used up, even the feet, the head. I'm not necessarily a friend of um, eating brain. I know that in some cultures, especially in Asia, people are fine with that, or eating bile. Eating the bile, so the, 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 the content of the intestines, of the, um, of the stomach. You know, the acid that breaks down your food. Um, especially in Africa, in tribes, in native tribes, where they slaughter and eat the meat raw and drink the raw blood. They also love to eat the bile. And also in some Asian countries, like the Philippines, it's a delicacy in some um, parts. Um, I'm not a fan of that, especially since it's not very healthy for your body. You also shouldn't eat too much liver. You should only eat liver once or twice a week because there's a lot of stuff going on in the liver. After all, it's kind of the cleansing place for all of the shit that's going into your body, which means that there will be some residue. Um, so there, I'm not sure the bile or the brain shouldn't be used. It's not necessary. Sure, if people want it, they can, but I wouldn't call it a waste if you don't do that. Um, same with brain. Again, don't eat too much brain. That's not good for you. That's not healthy. Maybe eat brain once a month. Maybe. I wouldn't do it more than that. Beside that, go for it. Feet, chicken feet, go for it. Neck, go for it. Head, go for it. A lot of places like Europe only like to eat, I don't know, fillets or other good meat parts. But mm, that's that's the first problem, differentiating between good and bad parts. Alright, um, that's definitely enough to talk about food. Otherwise I'm going to get hungry. And I'm, going to tr I'm trying to shed a couple kilos. Over the course of Corona, I am... <laughs> I backed on a couple of kilos and I'm not satisfied with the current state of my body because of that. So I need to eat less, do more sport, and that way I will be satisfied again in my body. And all it takes is a bit of discipline. And playing is great. Getting when you have time off. To not eat or think about eating or doing anything else in that regard. 
same with um, if you smoke and you try to end smoking try to find something in your free time that is just so cool makes so much fun that you don't think about it like playing warhammer 3 immortals empire i know immortal empires it's just fun this is what i like so try to make sure that you are busy doing something that is capable of making you feel not lazy, not lonely, not... What should I say? Those are the wrong words, really. Um, it's more about you feeling busy and not thinking about that which you want to get rid of, like smoking or eating. A lot of people have the problem when... They grow bored when they have nothing to do. They go to the fridge and they see cool food. They're like, mmm, now I have appetite for a snack. And that's a human thing. Um, a human brain, like any animal, is hardwired. Mm, from an evolutionary standpoint, okay, we're not done yet talking about food. Um, in the human evolution, the humans not always had a great deal of food. There were seasons, there was winter, there was summer, and in some past ages, humans had to, well, deal with not having much food. And so, whenever a human had food, for example, when he hunted an animal, he made sure that he got enough nutrition, enough food to sustain his body over the long term. So, he ate and ate and ate until his stomach was more than just full and this hardwired there's food i need to consume it it's hard to get rid of that it's hard to control it which is why you need discipline and it's not entirely your fault as i said it's a bit hardwired into our genetics because some time ago when humanity was still young there wasn't so much food so whenever you had a source of great food you went for it you ate all you could because maybe for a month you had very little food and nowadays the problem is you we have this hard wiring and our greed for food and an infinite supply of food so we eat and eat and eat and eat and well, that doesn't work out very well with our bodies simply because when you get too fat um your body breaks down your back's killing you and it's just no fun you're sweating all day long and being fat is just shit I don't believe any human on this planet that says that tells me I'm satisfied with me being fat because fat sucks. Everything sucks. Everything is it's a problem. Everything becomes a challenge. So whenever someone says I'm completely satisfied with myself because I'm fat, and I will come in and say I don't believe you. It's okay to be fat. It's a, it's a personal choice of every human. Not everyone has the time and discipline to change that, but please don't say that you're comfortable and, and happy with being fat. That's just bullshit. Being fat sucks. And everyone who ever was fat or is fat knows that. There are only downsides to being fat. There's literally no upside to being fat. So, if you can, and if you're uncomfortable with yourself, you know the solution. Um, building upgrade. Yeah. I don't want to build anything here. I want that. But still have to wait two rounds. Okay. Carl Franz done. Van Gorst. We're still waiting for the flagellants to upgrade. Uh, to, to heal. Eben van Liebitz. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anything he should do? You could. Yeah. Help Wreckers Point. Why not? Go help our friends. To the provinces. Bruno, there's nothing that he can do. So we can just end the round, really. Nothing else we can do here. No, no, no. Okay.
It is good to see our allies of the mountains. It is war! Yes, my lord. This will bolster the nation. Onward! It is for the best. What do you want of me? Kill! The wild makes warriors. Wait. Oh, I forgot to activate the microphone. Well, that was noobish. You might have noticed something great. Um, in Warhammer 3, when you conquer a territory with a specific faction, the area that you conquer will change. This was not how this looked when the vampires were kings here. This is great. I saw a couple of posts on Reddit where people showed the progress. For example, if an orc captures this region, they will fell the trees. If the Empire captures this, well, they will plant forests. If the vampires go here, everything will be corrupted and dead. And that is beautiful. Creative assembly, well done on that part. It's a bit of a shame that we don't have um, real seasons right now. Please fix that. I loved seasons in Rome. Especially, they created a sense of realism and a cool state of gameplay. For example, when you knew when you were in, in fall and you wanted to conquer someone in a neighboring region and there was a mountain pass, you knew that you had a problem since in winter this will become almost impassable. You will be extremely slow and you will suffer massive attrition. And seasons could make Warhammer 3 even greater. So please consider adding seasons to Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. Okay, and... This is X vampire territory. Yeah, we're not going to build anything here. Outpost available. Yeah, I don't care. Outpost upgrade. I don't care. The only thing I care about is Mazda Mundi. Military lines. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Why is uh, why is that deter? Oh, treaties with exiles of Nehek. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. Uh, let's give them a gift. 
go. Nice. Now we should go up. Yes. Perfect. Uh, what are we doing now? Du, du, du. Carl Franz. You. Doomkeep. Oh dear. Can you do it alone? Without anyone? Seriously? Damn, my boy Carl is an absolute obliterator. Goodbye. Oh, we could have lightened. Oh, no, 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 no. He just survived, okay. I was about to say he wasn't a part of the Citadel. He just stood before that, but I oh, know. Okay, survivor. Da, 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 da. Ooh. <laughs> okay, good sir. Doomkeep is ours. So we go for basic walls. I'll go for money and Oh yeah, we definitely go we don't have walls, so we, we will go for Reichsford eventually to get the garrison, but right now I want control. And we still have that. Yeah, we can't attack that now. That ship has sailed. You annoy him? No, we don't have any money left. Okay, let's, let's just you stay. Well, where did he come from? Uh, please obliterate that one. Oh, come on, seriously? Can you still attack him? Oh, no, you can't. Oh. You are beyond useless. Oh, he defended that himself. So he doesn't need us. Yeah, let's go back. Marienburg. Okay. Bruno Hellseer. Yeah, nothing that we can do here. Oh, we can upgrade to hand gunners. If we had the money. <laughs> we don't have the money. So it's time for us to end the round. And for the next episode.